All right, let's do a cold start on this generator. I've had it for two years, got a little over 40 mi uh, what, miles, 40 hours on it. And uh, we're gonna do a cold start and go over it and let you know my thoughts. All right, so we got the uh, Predator 3500 inverter. Added some fuel, dead cold. We're gonna cycle it. You can see, obviously, that's the exhaust. I'm touching it, it's not warm. Let's see if it fires up. I haven't ran it and probably a lot longer than I should, probably six months. Last summer, actually, I think. So, you see, he's off. Let's just start. And. Wow. So, yeah, it fired right up. That's awesome. I mean, this thing has been dead reliable. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it for what it is. Um, let's get through a couple of specs here. Thing, <laughs> it's, it's up here. So, uh, yeah, it definitely weighs all of 100 pounds, probably even more with fuel in it. Um, I think the specs say 99.2 pounds. So, give it, yeah, it weighs a lot for sure. Um, it, it, 212cc overhead valve, uh, air-cooled. I mean, it, yeah, it's 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 great. It's it can it does have um, low oil and over overuse, over voltage or under voltage shut off as well. Um, don't I mean I think it's it's over it's over voltage, but definitely low oil. That's what I wanted. I I wanted to make sure it had a low, some sort of low oil voltage, low oil uh, shut off, and it does. I've never ran it out of oil. I changed the oil. I think it's got forty. It's got forty four hours. So this is technically the forty hour review, or two years. Like you said, it's only two years and we've only ran it for 40 hours. We only use it We only use it when we absolutely have to and I only run it a couple hours every once in a while just to cycle the fuel. You would definitely want to use Stabil, um, some fuel stabilizer um, just because it's going to be sitting inside the carburetor. You don't want it to be gunked up or anything like that. 3500 uh, peak, 3000 running, uh, 11 hours. It says 11 hours on 25% use as far as the uh, fuel economy goes. I will say that I had it on high and it was overnight so i think it was definitely nine hours we had it on and um um overnight because we had a power outage last year i think it lasted for maybe a day so i had this hooked up to you know all the essentials i just had an extension cord running to whatever we needed it was a couple fans um lighting of course was and i had my you know it, it wasn't it's not into a panel so i just have it straight into um, you know, fans, refrigerator, this, just the essentials. Ran it just fine. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. And once we had power back on, I changed the oil and did some maintenance on it because it was a pretty, pretty good long, you know, consistent uh, run time. So uh, we'll go. I think that's about it for as far as you know, just the general specs of it. It's, it's, it's generator. It is a pure. It is a modified sine wave inverter, not a pure sine wave inverter. So you know, if you guys are wondering about that, that's you know, for for the price. I think it's, they have it listed for 800 bucks right now as, a, as um, you know, this is March, April time frame, 2020. So you can get, you know, some coupons on it, but they are pretty expensive, but I would definitely look on Facebook Marketplace. I've seen many of them for 500 bucks, maybe some of them for less. Not nearly, you know, you probably got some hours on them, but, you know, as long as they work, you can save some money on that. Plus, Harbor Freight has specials all the time. Well, let's go. I'm going to give you guys a really quick... Uh, Look over one C and I'll show you some, a couple tips here. Pretty simple. Um, you get your oil drain, um, your oil right here. If you can see down in there, you go right there. Very nice. This whole if you want to, this whole thing comes off with two screws. One right there, one right there, and it pops out and it has a little couple lips down here. So if this thing all comes out if you need to do anything here, um, which you, you shouldn't have to. So we've got uh, the fuel up here and it's got an easy start guide right here as well. Over here is the business end of it. It does have um, a low, uh, like a readout, so you can see what kind of vulture um, that's being pulled from the generator and amps as well. It does help. I have not checked it for actual, you know, exactly how you know accurate it is, but you know, I'm assuming so. I've tested with my trailer, and it seems pretty, pretty accurate. It absolutely is pretty, pretty, 
not too bad actually. I mean, plus that kind of that kind of that kind of tester is pretty simple to do. Uh, 120 AC. You have a two prong DC 12 volt. It says obviously eight amps max. I've never actually used that, and I've never actually used the uh, 30 amp out um, RV or whatever you want to call it. Um, three prong. I've never actually used that. I will say a good tip if you are going to use this. I would recommend taking these seven screws off right here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a seventh one somewhere around here. And where is it at? I can't, I can't see it right now. But anyways, uh, there is, and this comes out, and you, you'll want to clock this because a couple other people, not me, but a couple other people say um, when you put your prong inside here to actually um, use this outlet, that it sits up high and it wants to declock, and actually it can vibrate loose. So you want to clock it, probably you know rotate it 180, or at least 90 so it's it's facing down so it always it stays connected so that's not for me i've actually watched a couple of their videos and looked up and that's what people tell me to do um also i do have it the first time you want to get the suction for this a couple of things is um it might surge a little bit because the air suction the airflow is kind of poor for this so i always keep this actually off so it has enough air um sometimes i might even actually drum these out right here just so it has enough air inside because it does suck air through these outlets and it can cause surging so I would recommend if whatever outlets you're not using, just cover them up, put tape or whatever you need to to cover them up. That way it draws air where it needs to and uh, you get a good clean um, engine cycle. Uh, a couple other things. It's got ESC throttle, which is the, you know a weird way of saying it's got economy mode. And that's, that's where you get your 11 hours plus of economy mode of 25%. It's where it's super quiet as well. Not super quiet, I'd say... Um, it, it is really quiet. Uh, 57 decibels is what it's listed at. And I, I haven't tested it, but it definitely is around there for sure. Um, starting is pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and start it real quick. I know I'm inside the trailer, but just just quick, easy. You already saw it once, but you know you can, you can this is start, which is also choke um, or run. It. It's, gonna, it's, it's actually warmed up. So you want to make sure your econo mode's off and then you can just use the starter. want to kill myself with carbon monoxide poisoning uh you know <laughs> i'm running in engines <laughs> not really advised inside of an enclosed trailer so um you also can hook this in uh parallel um you got your you got your hot and ground your ground um and your base all, all of this you can actually plug a couple of them up and if you wanted to you can get you know your six thousand running watts if you wanted to I think that's about it for this as far you also even though you have a, this is the battery right here um, I could take it off you can see it's just, it comes with the battery itself which is great and you also have in case you wanted to you have a pull start right there I've actually never had to the battery has been fantastic like I said this has been great again it's only got 40 hours on it but it does sit for a long long time and I've actually started it in the middle of winter when we lost power for a couple hours just in case fantastic guys you guys can't go wrong with this it's absolutely for what you get um, I'm not a big Harbor Freight fan. I actually don't own any except for maybe maybe a handful of Harbor Freight tools, not even anything remotely. And this is a no-brainer for me. Um, yeah, can't uh, um, can't say enough good things about it. It it starts and it does what I needed to do uh, for the money. Uh, I think it was about 740 bucks with sales tax. I mean, it's what, what else are you gonna? Do? I mean, yeah, fantastic and. If I've earned your subscription, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. I appreciate it.